Hey guys, it is small group time. I have my Seesaw app open. I'm using my computer, but a lot of you are using a tablet um, or your phone or a laptop, whichever is fine. And I see our activity for today is called Dot Creations. So I'm going to click on it so we can open it up. And this should be what you see when you open the activity on your Seesaw account. It says Dot Creations. But you know what, guys? We're in pre-K, and it might be a little bit difficult for us to read the instructions. But lucky for you, I have recorded the instructions for you to simply listen to. So if you don't have an adult next to you to read this to you, then you can just hit this button right here, play instructions, and hear the directions. Let's listen. For book time today, we read the book 10 Black Dots by Donald Cruz. If you have not seen our book time video, go back and watch it. Watch the mini lesson video below to see how to do this small group activity. The steps are, one, choose the number of dots you would like to see. Two, draw or place the dots onto your drawing. Three, create something using those dots, just like in the book. And four, record yourself describing your creation. How many dots did you use? And what did you create? Make sure you watch the mini lesson so I can show you my activity and how to do your activity on Seesaw. Have fun. Okay, so now we know what to do. And we need to watch the mini lesson video, which is what you're watching right now. So let me show you how I'm going to do this activity, and I can also show you how you can do it. So you need to click on this green rectangular button right here with the plus sign and a circle around it. It says add response. That's where you click so that you can submit your assignment. I'm going to click add response. And I want to click sample student, but you will click on your name. Okay, so you're gonna open up to this space. And the awesome thing about this page is if you forget what the instructions were, then you can just click play instructions right here and then you can listen to me read them to you again. I think I am going to use the drawing so that I can draw out my small group activity for today. So I'm gonna click on drawing, that is the pencil icon, click it. And I now see a blank page where I can draw on. Today I'm using my computer, so I'm going to be drawing with my mouse. But you might be using a mouse pad, or you could even use your finger if you have a touch screen surface, like a tablet or a phone. Okay, the different options you have. There's a text button right here. T -t -t text starts with the letter T. -t, -t, -t. That's why this says T. And you can insert a text box and type inside it like that. I'm not going to use a text box today, so I can just click undo. You can also add your voice, and that is something that we are going to be using in a little bit. You can also upload your own pictures that you already have. And then if you click on the three dots, you can insert shapes, get all the different shapes. We're going to be using some of those today. Or you can also change the background. I think I'm going to do a background change because who does not love a good blue background? There you go. And you can see on my screen, my every time I move my mouse, it moves this icon that looks like a crisscross. So I'm going to click on, you can use a pencil to draw like this, and it'll have a thin line. You hit undo. You can use a marker, and it'll look a little bit thicker and more bold. You can use a highlighter. That one is thicker, but you can also kind of see through it. You can use this magic marker one. Whoa, it looks bright and neon colored. And then if you make any mistakes, you can also use your eraser to erase what the work that you've done. 
I'm going to use a marker today because I like a bold point. And right here on this side, let me move my screen so you can see. I'll put it right here. You can change the color of your marker. What color should I pick? I know a lot of us love the color purple. So I'm going to stick with purple right now. So our activity for today is to try to make our own dot creations. In the book, 10 Black Dots by Donald Cruz, you saw different creations that the illustrator made using black dots. How many black dots do you think I should use? Less than five or more than five? Less than five? Okay, how about two black dots? Yes? Okay. So to insert my black dots, I'm going to click on the three dots right here on this icon. That just means more. And I want to click on shapes. Do you see a dot? Or something that looks like a dot? Yeah. Circle looks like a dot. And I'm going to change the color to black. That's all the way down here. I'm going to pick black because that is the color of the black dots from the book that we read. But I wonder if you're going to choose a different color. How many dots did I say? Two dots, right? So I'm going to click the three buttons on my shape. And I'm going to hit duplicate right here. And it's going to copy the dot. So now I have one, two dots. Am I ready? Yes. Um, I think I'm going to put my dots down here. Now I need to think what I want to create. What can I use these black dots to create? Hmm, good idea. You know what I think I'm going to make? Let's see if you can guess while I start to draw. I'm going to click on my marker. I already have it on the purple color that I'd like to use. And I'm going to start drawing and see if you can guess what creation I'm making. Hmm. Let's see. Right now I'm making an outline. Any guesses? Ooh, I heard someone say it. And then I am going to change to this color. Ooh, I heard someone else guess. Okay, I'm almost done. Let's see, I'm just missing. Oh, wrong color. Undo. I meant to put it all the way on black. There you go. Mm-hmm. Missing something right here in the front. And usually in the back, let's see if I can find a good color. There you go. Any guesses? What did I create using my two black dots? A car, right? A purple car. And I used the purple color for the color of the car. I used the black marker to make the lines of the door. I used the gray marker to make the windows. The yellow marker to make the lights at the front. And the orange color at the back to make the brake light color. And of course, my two black dots were what? The tires. So now that I have my drawing showing my creation, I remember one of the steps was to record yourself explaining what your creation was, right? So I'm going to click on the microphone button right here. It says record your voice while creating in three, two, one. 
Hi, Ms. Rodriguez. It's me, sample student. Today I used two black dots right here to make a car. My creation was a car. It's purple, and I also used black colors, gray colors, yellow colors, and orange colors. So I used two black dots just like Donald Cruz did in the book that you read us today. I hope you enjoy my drawing. Okay, there you go. So I pretended to be my own student and I explained what creation I made and how many dots I used to create it. And then all I did was hit the green check mark in the corner to say done. And if you made a mistake, then you can just hit this button right here with the arrow and the microphone to re-record. Or if you'd like to see what you said, then just hit play video. Let's see. One. Hi, Ms. Rodriguez. It's me, sample student. Today I used two black dots right here. Okay, I clicked the video to pause it. Now you can see that I recorded myself successfully. And that was all the steps. Let me view instructions just so I can make sure that I did everything. See, number one was choose the number of dots you would like to use. Check, I did that. Two, draw or place the dots onto your drawing. Check, I did that one. Three, create something using the dots, just like in the book. Check, I created a car. And last step was to record yourself describing your creation. How many dots did you use? What did you create? Check, check. I did all four steps. So I can close the instructions with the X. And that means I'm ready to submit my activity. So I'm going to click this green arrow in the top right corner. Click. And it's going to say uploading. That means that you're sending me your video. And there it is. Now you can see your video that you have submitted. If you had not read the book yet, and then make sure that you go back to Seesaw page and you click on the book time activity video. Or you can just go straight to my YouTube channel that I shared with your parents and you can watch the video just like I have opened right here. I hope you have so much fun creating your dot art and your different dot creations and I can't wait to see what you submit to Seesaw. Have fun!